I can barely contain myself. All her thoughts, apparently. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? LD Shiloh here and welcome back to Kitty Powers Matchmaker. In the last episode we managed to get together two couples and we even unlocked a bunch of new restaurants to try out. So let's see if our couples are still together. We have a letter here from Franny Cheese Sister. Dear Lizzie, Mona and I are still together, we got married, yay! We <laughs> both really enjoy post-apocalyptic movies. I can easily live with her obsession with watching motor racing, so that's great. I think that means 100% of the couples that we've put together have stayed together so far, so that's a pretty flawless record for me, and my reputation is fabulous. But let's see if we can work that magic again today. We have a new client. I already saw these guys last time. Bernie the door attendant, Mark the teaching assistant, and Eve the science lecturer. Eve looks really, really cute. I'm gonna try and set her up on a date with the woman that she deserves. She likes social networking, faraway galaxies, and goblins. What? These people have such weird interests, but I love them. And she likes grey eyes and red hair. So, let's see who we have to pick from. <gasps> Faye Pinkbig. <laughs> the sports nutritionist has red hair. And is their interests line up? Oh no! She's really sporty. She likes playing rugby, tracksuits, and swimming with dolphins, so I'm not sure they'd actually get along that well. Mabel likes being in charge, millionaire lifestyles, and cheesy pop music. And Maddie likes animal totems, going to bookshops, and fairies. I feel like these guys would get along really well, but their interests in appearances don't really match up. I'm gonna take a risk here, and we're gonna take Eve and Faye out on a date, even though their interests really don't match up at all. They're totally different, but you never know. Oh, let's see if we can get one of the new ones. We unlocked this Australian one, so let's go for this one. Gotta follow it with my eyes. Oh, I already lost it, I think. It's this one! That was wrong. <laughs> Guess we're going American. Here we go, fingers crossed. I'm really worried about this one. Hello, you must be Eve. Pleased to meet you. Wow, this restaurant is killing it. Yes, it's quite popular. Your hair's a nice shade of red. I knew it, I knew she would like that. It's literally all mine. Okay, so our waitress today has some interesting green eyeshadow on. What will you be ordering today, Faye? Something cold with no meat. Why does everyone want cold food with no meat? Oh, hang on, she's trying to lose the podge, so dairy as well is a no-no. Okay, um, maybe peanut butter and jelly sandwich would be good? I don't know what jambalaya is, but I'm a little worried. So let's go for peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. <laughs> what a weird date this has already started out to be. It does sound lovely, okay. Well, let's see if we can get things rolling with the love handle. I'm hesitant to talk about their interests because they don't really line up. The weather is always a terrible topic and facial decor is a bit eh. So let's try with the interests. I heard you're interested in swimming with dolphins because that's a quite a more odd one so I'll point that one out. Yeah I really like swimming with dolphins. Why would you say meh to that? That's not something you say meh about. We're gonna have to try and lie because that's just such a rude response. I will never accept meh. Oh no. Oh no, I think it's gonna land on that red. Unless, just stop there, please. Oh, that was so close. <laughs> that sounds really exciting. Yeah, it is. What do you do for kicks? Uh, let's tell her that we do goblins. <laughs> oh, I just do some goblins. I really like goblins. Oh, she does not like the goblins. She should have at least tried to lie. That's what I did. Dinner is served. This has not gone well so far. Maybe we can bring it back. We've already talked about hair when she walked in. Weather is always bad, I think. So let's go for horoscopes and hope that she is super into them. She thinks they're everything. I think they're fantastic. I'm so glad we agree. My star sign's Capricorn. Oh no, are we supposed to lie here? Well, let's just tell her we're Scorpio. I'm Scorpio, what does that mean? It's looking okay. That's nice. I can feel my belly rumbling. Oh dear, something's happening. I'd better try to hold it. Why is she holding in? Is she holding in a fart? Oh no! She's got some serious flatulence. Oh no, okay. Is the next card higher or lower than a six? Let's assume it's gonna be higher. Oh, it was the same. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, is it gonna be higher than a six again? Maybe. 
No, oh, thank you. Please do not fart, woman. Okay, it's definitely gonna be lower than a jack. Oh, thank goodness. Have you held it in? The pressure's increasing. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, Ace is the lowest, so it's gotta be higher. Uh huh. Phew, I think I'll be okay. The farts have dissipated. Are you okay? Yes, I'm just so happy to be here. I can barely contain myself. All her thoughts, apparently. I'm so glad to hear it. That was so lucky. <laughs> right, let's reel the love handle again. Oh no, we can't talk about the same thing. Hmm. Should we take a risk and talk about clothing? I think we shall. What do you think of my outfit? Oh, awkward. She did not like that. And then she asked what we think of hers. Oh no! The truth is that we hate it. How terrible. I don't know if I want to hit her with that bombshell. That's really gonna make her mad. This has not been a good date so far. I'm gonna have to try and lie to salvage this. Please land on a tick. And maybe if we're lucky, we'll land on some extra coins. No. Okay, well, I'll take the tick. We got away with that lie to that horrible lady that said she hated our outfit. Oh, I feel like it's totally legend. <gasps> what is this, naked baby? What is she? Oh, oh, she got rid of the red X. Would you call me a taxi? My mobile's totally died. Of course, waiter, do you have a taxi number? Yes, I do, are you ready? The the what? The What's the number? 389-893. 389-893. I feel like I've already got this wrong. Oh, thank goodness. We're calling that taxi. Hello, could you come pick up my horrible date, please? Thank you. Take her away. Let's vacate the premises. Okay, there is a taxi rank outside. We literally just called one, guys. Well, that didn't go right. That did not go well at all. Um, shall we say maybe go on another date and then hope it goes a little better, maybe? Oh no, I'm totally not sure. She's kind of declining us here. Do you think they're worth it? Gosh, no. We'll just get you on a date with someone else, Eve. Don't worry, there's someone else better for you. Well, if you're gonna be like that, then forget it. I'm gonna bounce then. Bye, Faye. You were horrible anyway. Ew. I am so sorry about that, Eve. That was totally my bad. So, now we can take her on a date with Mabel. Bumham. She likes being in charge, millionaire lifestyles, and cheesy pop music. I don't think they really match up. And then the last one is Maddie Underthwaite. You know what? They are both nerds. Bookshops, animal totems, fairies, fairies and goblins. Oh my gosh. How did I not notice this before? Plus they kind of look like twins already. So I think we have a match made in heaven. Yes, I'm sure. Even Maddie. Let's try and get to the freaking Australian restaurant this time. Ugh. The concentration was real and I'm pretty sure it's this one. Yes. Mother's took her. Oh, I'm a little bit nervous. Well, this is her second day. I actually, I almost couldn't tell which one was which. Hello, are you Maddie? Yes, I am. You must be Eve. Pleased to meet you. Match made in a pound shop. This is a nice place, isn't it? Yes, it's quite popular, actually. I do love your light brown hair. Thanks, I'm glad you like it. Good evening. May I take your order? Don't know why I read it out like that. What would you like? Something hot with white meat. I like her. She's very different from the others. Oh, I don't really know what Aussie chicken is, but I'm assuming that it's hot and it's white meat because it's chicken. So hopefully she likes it. And what will we get to talk about today? Please. I'm ho I was kind of hoping interests would come up because I think they would like to talk about that. Let's go for clothing because I feel like they dress quite similarly. So they must like each other. Oh, <gasps> she loves it. Oh, do, sh do I like hers? I do! Yay, you're so kind. Let's try and make it talk about our likes this time because I feel like they would match up really well. Okay, we don't want to talk about clothing again. And uh, they both have glasses, so maybe we could talk about facial decor. Hmm? What do you think of my clear complexion? It looks great, really suits you. Well, thank you, you're such a flatterer. What do you think of my clear complexion? I love it, you look stunning. Thanks, I feel fantastic. <gasps> Coin! I got it. Ahem, can I interest you in something from the dessert trial? You can indeed. I answered for her there. I already decided that I want dessert. 
Okay, now we gotta memorize. Oh gosh. A uh, Knickerbocker Glory, a tea, a Lamingtons, and Skinny Latte. Which one would you like, my dear? The third dessert. I think the third was Lamingtons. Yeah. Or was it tea? I think it was Lamingtons. Confirm. Please say that was right. Oh, thank goodness. I knew they liked that one. Okay, now we definitely want to talk about likes at some point because they were totally match up. Okay, I'm gonna use this again. Ta-da! We're gonna talk about interests. Let's ask her about her interest in fairies because maybe we can bring up the whole goblins thing. Yes, I love fairies. That sounds really exciting. So what are you into? Well, we're into goblins. That sounds great. That's a much better reaction than Faye had. She was literally horrible about it. Oh, thank goodness. Oh no, now we have to work out the tip. 5%, oh my gosh, why are you killing me? I think it's 195. I worked that out in my head, so I'm not 100% sure. I think it is right. Time to go. And guess what these guys are gonna end up in a hot tub? I know it. Because I am gonna put them there. Yes, I'm sure. Do you want to get more serious? Yes, I think I'm in love with you. Whoa, that is way too serious. Woohoo, this is the best feeling ever. Now we're in a hot tub. We took off our glasses. That went well. That went significantly better than the first date, which was an actual disaster. Let's get a new client set up with someone. Oh, hello, sir. We haven't had a man for a while. I'm Finn and I am a mechanic looking for a woman. Let's find you that woman. Oh, he is a man after my own heart. He's into lavish parties, fairy lights, and roller skating. Let's find him someone awesome. She likes beta software, wizardry, and online comedy video. He seems like the glam type that we got from the nightclub, and she seems like the geek that we got from the comic book store, so I don't think they'd go that well together. Ugh, Mabel is into playing football, watching fail videos, and tracksuits, so I guess she's like a sporty type person? And Nadia is into cleaning the car, dubstep, and social networking. I think they both have an interest in music, so that might go well. She likes brown hair and brown eyes. He does not have either of those things. And she does not have either of his interests. But, heck, she's the best candidate. So I am sure Finn and Nadia are going on a date. And we're going to try and go to this country here, which I think is France. Follow it with our eyes. I think I've already lost it. I do not know where that went. Maybe this one? Nope, we're going back to the Route 69. <sighs> I wonder what they're wearing. What a weird thing to think about, Finn. Please don't think about that. Hello, are you Nadia? Yeah, you must be Finn, right? Pleased to meet you. Wow, this restaurant is killing it. Yeah, it's quite popular. Good evening, may I take your order? What would you like? Something cold with no meat. Ugh, not one of these people. Macaroni? Oh no, that's warm. Uh, we're gonna have to go for the peanut butter and jelly sandwich again. Wow. Two portions of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, please. Yep, it sounds great. That's exactly what I wanted to eat. What will we talk about today? Okay, let's talk about clothing. I think they might like each other's clothing. They both have interesting styles. Ooh, you're quite fash, aren't you? Thanks, I dressed up specially. Are you digging my outfit? Yeah, it's just so eye-catching. Yay, they like each other's outfits. And I hope they like dinner, because now we're gonna- Oh, coin! We're gonna- <laughs> We're gonna talk about- <gasps> Let's talk about interests. That should be interesting. Get it? Okay, she likes- dubstep so we'll ask her about that what do you think yeah i really like dubstep that sounds exciting yeah it's everything so what do you do let's tell her i really like fairy lights let's tell her we like lavish parties i think she might like that oh that sounds absolutely sickening yes it is actually i have a wardrobe malfunction Back in a momento. Okay, let's just memorize what she's wearing because I bet she's going to change in a second. Oh dear. Bye. See you in a second. Probably looking completely different. Okay, she put that rose in her hair. That is what she did. Did you miss me? Whoa. 
Style emergency averted. What do you think? Well, obviously she changed that. Hair accessory. Yep, that is it. Oh, thank goodness. I think you look great, actually. Thanks. I'm a bit of a fashionista, you know? All right, fashionista, what will we talk about next? Not the weather, no. I guess we could talk about activity, find out if they're both lazy or if they're both active. What gadget do you prefer? A pedometer or a massage chair? Great question, I'd say a pedometer. <gasps> they're both active. I'd have to say a pedometer. Busy, busy, busy. They're so not like me. Oh look, here comes the famous chef. Hello, I hope everything is to your satisfaction. It was like totally scrummy. What was it that you liked about it? Feel free to exaggerate wildly. What do you think? Okay, I got this. Underbelly, presentation, aftertaste, overtone, satisfaction. Underbelly, presentation, aftertaste, overtone, satisfaction. Ta-da! Oh, someone's literally swallowed a cookery dictionary. Thanks, I like to know what I'm talking about. That honestly did not sound like a compliment, but if you're gonna take it that way, then go for it. I think it's time to split. It is getting late. I think they're gonna go out uh, for good on dates and have babies together, probably. So let's ask her if she will be our GF. I have like totes fallen for you. That's great. Now they're in a hot tub. I don't like how this happened so suddenly. I wasn't prepared, but I'm glad it went well. Oh, I think I'm gonna get a promotion from underling to dog's body. What? That doesn't sound like something I would want to be. Oh well. Clients can be difficult? What does that mean? Kick clients out? So if we can't find them a date, we just kick them out? That's a little harsh. We have enough money now to buy the salon colorist, so I'm going to buy that for next time. But that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. We put together two more lovely couples. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to leave a like, and I'll see you next time. Put my chicken sword in here, and oh, it's a bit upside down. Ollie, I hope this doesn't go too far. You know I don't like exercise. To become a human. <laughs>